that we could get back to if we work hard enough yeah. and have yeah. enough support. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is hammer. So yeah. eventually, eventually this problem is going to be solved. Yes. We have to, I think, you know, uh, just as uh, Carol was saying, I'm a tourist here, first year here, but you know what? I, I was just looking at it uh, kind of objectively. You're going to be through this problem, and we need, uh, this community is going to need an identity beyond the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, it has one. Yeah. So okay. Which we do. We just need with sponsorships, like Chance was talking about, with sponsorships and, and different ways, memberships. So it's, we're gonna, this is going to be solved. The one breakdown I'm seeing with Nyland, and this is just from past experience of financial models and how people do business with real estate, there, there's a gentric, there's a gentrification <coughs> effort going on right. in Nyland. Oh. And what happens with gentrification is, first they devalue everything. Yeah. Yep. They destroy the value of all of the businesses, they take all of the resources out, and they drive the property values to nothing. Then they come in and they buy it for pennies on the dollar, yep. remodel, rebuild, and reinvigorate. Well, that, 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 that is happening. not a conspiracy That's exactly theory. what they're doing. Exactly yeah. what's happening mm -hmm. right now. It's well, not a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy. This is right. what they did in right. Chicago. This is what, what they, they did in Detroit. Orleans. This is yeah. what they yeah. do yeah. all across I'm the country. New San Francisco, uh, Oakland. Yeah. What, what a lot of people don't country understand. Country. All across yeah. the country. Yeah. What a lot of people don't understand about Nyland, it's drying yeah. up. It's a Last business year model you had uh, 14 kids or so in the uh, uh, people uh, resourceless and paying uh, grade school, now there's six. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just not that many people. They're leaving. Hey. What's your name, by the way? My name is Badger. Um, I came here seven years ago when I was 13. I met Leonard. Many Changed people. my life. Left. Because he told me you guys weren't ready. He said you need to go learn about people more than you think you know. Look beyond the vessel. Now I'm here again to tell you one thing. There's one thing our government has over all of us. What is that? Guns! Religion. It's the one thing they also can't go head to head with. This is religious ground. What is this? What's the sacred ground? ground. Sacred Native Regardless American ground. This is, this is true to some extent. He is, actually has. Yeah. Three years of law school. He can't no, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. Three generations. My bad. Three generations. My bad. Right. So, Three generations. any other okay. comments, questions, right. concerns? Back there, back there. One thing that um, I just wanted to let everybody know, I, at the last meeting, uh, the executive meeting where they wouldn't accept money for the bill or membership, etc., a gentleman did speak, a Nylander, grown and born, his name is Jacob. He explained a system that he saw in Arizona uh, of basically uh, a meter system with like a prepaid card, kind of like a gift card. You load it up with whatever, you swipe, yeah. however, you get your water. Um, one thing just to let you know, he is making an effort, because he is one of those people in town who I do feel is actually coming from a pretty earnest place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah he is currently researching the meter, the swipe thing, the whole shebang, um, with the hope to be able to get that installed. He did tell me that it, uh, no matter what he finds, it's gonna kind of hinge on whether the board approves or denies. But he is still moving forward with that. There's a couple of us here in the slabs that are contacts <coughs> with him as well. And I just asked him, you know, please loop me in, let me know so that I can share it with everybody here and so we hopefully have like a little bit of transparency back and forth with someone in the community who is a member of the chamber he is not on the board or anything that i'm aware of a member of the nylon community who is trying to move forward to get those caps back home it's not going to be a tomorrow thing but you know so that's what i can let you know what he's trying to work on at this point that i'm aware of let me Thank add to you. that uh, mr jacob is also one of the haters the meters have been being worked on for two years. We needed uh, yeah, 1,200 bucks. Really it's already been in the works. Hey, too many voices. It's already in the works. He's a Johnny come lately. He just joined last month for the first time. You know, he grew up in Nyland. Okay. His focus is to amend okay. the bylaws to remove all voting rights from all slaves. So he is a member of that. He, That's good for me well, to for know one when month, I talk with him. Okay. But he 
wants to remove, take sure. all the voting rights away that's from Slavic. That's his, that's his main he, goal. He occurred to me as one of the investors that's pushing the gentrification effort. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. playing nice because yeah. he's business. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. well, one thing I, I appreciate noticed, that, you guys. Thanks. Like, I, I did the way you talk. Hey, you got to. Well, I'm just on that note because I know there's still.